So today I'm riding my friend's Z750. Just doing a short little stint on it. He's riding my CBR 1000. Yeah, we just thought we'd swap bikes to see what it's like to ride. And he's just got this bike head to do a little bit of gearbox work on it. But it's um it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice, obviously not as great as the thousand. But it's um, got more than enough power, it feels pretty good, it feels pretty smooth to ride. It's got quite wide bars on this which he's changed. Um, I'm not sure if I quite like the bars, they feel a little bit too wide to me. Um, but it could be to do with the setup and stuff like that. And also obviously I haven't ridden a bike like this for a while so I'm not quite used to it. Look at the size of the back tyre on this bike, that's going to cost a few dollars to to replace each time it's worn out. Pretty mad. So yeah, visibility is pretty good with the mirrors. It feels pretty good, it feels pretty pretty comfortable. Um, I mean there's a few things I would change, rear sets and things like that for myself if it was my bike, but um, and you know, you know the way the controls and things are set up. But overall, it's it's pretty nice. You get blasted a little bit by the cold wind because obviously it doesn't have a screen. But no biggie. Yeah, I guess the um, the bike to ride really would be the Z1000. The Z1000 must be great. It's just having that little bit of extra CCs and a little bit more torque and horsepower and stuff just makes a difference when you're riding. Forks, it's um, standard side up forks. It's not upside down forks on this bike, so. It, um, it doesn't feel too bad yet, but it's hard for me to tell because I haven't really been anywhere where I need to sort of put the brakes on hard yet. But generally on a bike that's a little bit older and done a few more k's, you'd usually rebuild the forks, it's worth doing. and this helmet just annoys me it's um the way this helmet is it's not very good i really need to replace my helmet go back to what i had i'll go back to another showy just have more room in the helmet more visibility it's just a better helmet i think well not i think i know just was a better helmet so it's always kind of fun when you get to ride something a little bit different you know um when you ride someone else's bike and try something different. I've ridden a few bikes, I haven't ridden tons and tons of bikes though. Um, but I always enjoy riding something different. It doesn't really matter too much that is on me. I've never ridden a cruiser so it'd be interesting to ride a cruiser one day, see what they're like. I guess when I was younger too I was always a sports bike guy and uh, couldn't look any further than that you know just that was all that interested me and I wasn't interested in other types of bikes but I'm set for dirt bikes and as I sort of got older I've mellowed a little bit in that respect and I'm quite interested in trying different types of bikes and seeing what I think It's got brand new tyres on it, which are not even scrubbed in yet. The tank's quite wide. Um, 
it's interesting like the position I'm not quite sure where to position myself on the seat to kind of be comfortable but that's probably a little bit to do with the way the rear seats and everything are as well Yeah, it's interesting because I was thinking, you know, like a, um, oh, what do you call them? Um, you know, I was thinking something like this anyway would be good to do a little bit of motor gym carter on. And I wanted to see what the turning circle was like and stuff. I think it's pretty good on this bike. I haven't had a chance to really test it out yet, but um, I think it would be good. But uh, now riding it, I think that maybe um, because it's not quite as grunty as some of the bigger bikes, that that. Uh, could be a little bit detrimental to timing and stuff like that as well because you don't have that really instant acceleration that you get just with a bigger bike a bigger bike is just so much faster and that makes a big difference you know because when you're doing something like a figure eight you want to be able to jump off the line quickly and then you're braking kind of as you're going into the corner and then as you're coming out of the corner you need to be back on the gas again and um, then it's nice to have sort of like some instant gratification in the way of acceleration to keep you going and pull you through again even comparing this to my GSX-R 750 the GSX-R 750 is definitely a lot more jump than this Mind you, mine had get a lot of gearing changes and things as well, and a lot of work on it, which just made it quicker. I'd like to ride an MT-09 and see what an MT-09 is like. You know, hear good and bad things about them, but I'd still quite like to try one. Apparently, they're a bit of a hooligan bike. They look fun. They look good. It's always hard to get an impression from things that other people say as opposed to writing something yourself and seeing what you actually think yourself. Heading into the bottom of um, oh, I forget the name of here, it's not Sanford Valley, I think, but um, anyway, the bottom of Mount Me is where we're headed. We're going to ride over Mount Me, then we're going to ride out to Kilcoy and then out to Tagula. It's definitely a more uh, relaxed riding position to sitting upright like this, that's for sure though. I just think for me my hands could be a little bit lower and it could be the grip could be a little bit less wide, but it's not too bad. It would just be minor differences in the way of bars that I'd put on here to make it suitable for me. To really get a true feel for a bike, you've really got to really ride it for a you know, decent amount of k's and do a lot of different types of riding, you know, ride it in the rain, ride it in some challenging roads, ride it on some highways and ride it for, you know, hours and hours and see how you actually really feel on the bike. Well, so I'm finally back on my own bike. Man, it feels different after riding that other bike. It just feels narrow and hard and really dedicated to what it does, basically. It's such a different feel. It's amazing what a difference, you know, like a few minutes on a bike just makes a ton of difference to how you feel about the bike. And after riding that, jumping back on my own bike felt weird for a few seconds, you know. 
a nice place up here, a nice little piece of road. This is probably one of the better parts of Mount Mee because it's got a lot of new seal up here as well. The other parts of Mount Mee, the road can be quite rough because it's um, just old and rupped up by trucks and things. Got to watch your speed though, there's a lot of cops and stuff and it's um, 60 k's an hour all up here which is ridiculous of course. It'd be nice if it was all 100 k's an hour apparently which is what it used to be. We pull over up here somewhere because we've got another friend at the back who's riding a cruiser. His parts of his bike tend to touch down once you start going around corners. Stop up here somewhere and wait for him to turn up. Better. <sighs> so it's a good day to be out, so I'm pretty cool this morning. It's the first day I've been out in the winter since it started getting cool. We're early in the morning anyway, and it was um, really quite cold. Had a layer of thermals on and it still wasn't really enough. But um, but it was nice to be out. The sun's out, so it's a nice clear day and it's starting to heat up a little bit now, which is good. So it's not too hot and not too cold. It's perfect riding weather really. This part of the road at Mount Lee is always quite rough, it's um, not the best seal as you can see, there's a lot of repairs and a lot of stones all over the road and it's um, pretty choppy in places. And there's not really anywhere to overtake, if you get caught behind something like this that's in front of us at the moment, um, and it's 60 k's an hour so none of it really helps the case. Um, it does turn to 100 but it's quite a lot further, further up the hill. Now it's all double, no passing lanes everywhere. Alright, it's okay, we're just cruising anyway, so I don't really care, but if you're coming up here to have a bit of a faster spin, um, you know, it can be like that. That was awesome. That doesn't happen every day. So I'm now riding um, the Honda 650R. It's the, not the very latest one, but the one just before that model. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting actually, you know, riding this after riding the, uh, the controls and everything are all a little bit awkward for me because they're not quite set up for me, but um, it's very interesting riding it actually after riding the Z750 because the Z750 is such a different beast to this. Um, but this actually feels um, more like my Honda, the way it delivers its power. Uh, it's not as powerful obviously as the thousand but the way the Honda engine seems to feel is a very similar feel 
It's um, the seating position, the riding position on this bike's better as well. It's um, well better for me. I feel pretty comfortable on this. I feel pretty planted on it. The the um, width and height of the risers and everything on this is quite perfect. The foot peg position is quite good, so my legs are stretched out enough that I'm not cramped. I feel like I'm sitting quite upright on it, so I'm not bent over like I am on my own bike. So it does feel different, but it feels nice. It feels really good, actually. And I can see why Alex likes riding it, because it is um, it is nice to ride. It does feel good. The Z, uh, the Z750, um, it's a smoother engine for sure. It's a smoother engine than my CBR as well. It's a very slick engine that, but it's, um, well, it's a bit hard to tell because I didn't really ride it enough, but it, it felt like, as you sort of got up the revs, it felt like it wasn't really designed to do a whole lot more. It could be the age of that bike though as well because it's done a lot of case. Whereas these bikes seem to reward the sort of like a little bit more revving um, in a better way. It's it's so weird for me to be sitting upright when I'm going into a corner like it just feels so odd, it doesn't feel as natural to me. But it's again, it's because I'm not used to it. I guess that's the thing you get support by and you do, you do um, miss is that um, when you are riding a bike that's just got lots of power all the time everywhere, when you don't have that you do find you have to work the bike more and you have to get more used to it and you do miss it. It's a funny thing, you know. Uh, often the extra power is not really that necessary. Um, well, you wouldn't think it was necessary if you were thinking about it from a, you know, from a theoretical point of view. You'd go, oh, well, you know, a bit more power, what well, can't make that much difference. But really, when you're riding, it really does make a lot of difference. It's, um, it can get you in a lot of trouble easily, but at the same time, it's nice to have the power because it just makes the riding effortless and easy. But it's always going to be hard to um, completely decide how you feel about a bike in a, in, a, in a short space of time. You've really got to ride a bike a lot. It's got good mirrors on this bike. It's um, pretty easy to see what's going on behind you. Generally sports bikes are pretty rubbish at that kind of stuff. So we've left Kilcoy and we're headed out to Tagula. Um, we're going to go and have some lunch out there and we'll ride back from there. Yeah, that's where these bikes don't have that um, upper level oomph. Like the, the CBR just has so much guts up high. These are 
the way I feel the engine it's it's really nice riding engine like it's good for you know commuting and um, you do an overtake but it's not it just doesn't have that raw gutsy power that you get from you know a real dedicated sports bike or perhaps a bike with bigger cubes That's why I guess so many people say, you know, uh, when they buy the Z750, they say, I'll buy the Z1000 or buy the Z900 because it's um, having that bit of extra engine size or capacity makes a big difference to your ride. Comfy bike, even the seat standard is pretty comfy, it's pretty good. Well, we've left Tagula now for had our lunch, had something to drink, had something to eat, and now we're headed back towards Mount Me. It's a good ride, good ride up through here. All 100 k's an hour, which is quite nice. And the road surface through here is pretty good. Of course, when I came through here before, I was riding the CBR 650R. Now I'm riding my own bike, so I feel a little bit more comfortable. 